right. all the co-hosts that you know we've all chatted online on Facebook on yeah. Skype, and that's great. But it's really cool to be able to meet these personalize people, it. You know, yeah. sit down, have a drink with them, you know, grill up some food or whatever. And uh, that has been probably the best part thus far. Yeah, absolutely. I I, I completely agree. And. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm still kind of taking it all in. It's hard, it's hard for well, two of our crews, first year, myself included, and um, it's really cool to see a lot of this stuff in action. Yeah, you know? I mean that's that's. Uh, I I kind of I kind of put it to a place where it's like it, it's like the internet live in person, and then it's also like everything that we preach and talk about live and in person and, and yeah, uh, we're, sort of, we're living it all yeah yeah we're, we're actually living it at least for one at least for one week out of the year we get to we get to live it and you know i talk to plenty of people know know plenty of people in contact with plenty of people that do media in their own right and, you know people i talk to all the time that are not necessarily um hip to everything that's going on up here but uh you know they always give me this there is no utopia, you know. It doesn't exist. Blah blah blah. And you know, this week of the podcast. Right. This this week, it, I said at least one week out of a year, it seems like this is a living testament to. Yes, there is. It, even if it's only for a week out of the year. It's so funny too. They try to centrally plan pork fest. Right. And it never works out, but the way the planning goes, you know, you always have people late for speaking sure. arrangements, whatever. But it all that's, seems yeah, not to, everything works out perfectly. Right. It's, not, it's not a perfect type of... Uh, it you know. all seems to come together. Sure, you know? sure. And and people, like I know Nikki Darling had this idea to do uh, the, the, the vape, you know, build your own vape and all that stuff. And it wasn't officially part of Porkfest for a while and she just talked to somebody and we had a little meetup. And I've seen a few of those people getting together and just yeah. doing their own little Where it's workshops. like, hey, this people, these people have this going on by their campsite. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's sort of like this uh, speakeasy type of deal. You know, you, you travel around, oh, you know, I didn't know if you know, but we've got this thing going on. It's not on the schedule. You know, our, our, our own guy Robert did a, uh, did a workshop on the Tribune, the speech on the Tribune. And uh, got some questions answered and, and all of that, and it, it really worked out quite well, comparatively speaking, because it was last minute, and we, we didn't think anybody was even going to show up, you know? We are like, this isn't even on the schedule, so I don't even know if uh, anybody's going to show up. One of the things I really like about Workfest is... If you're friendly and you just start saying hi to people, you find that you can have some really great conversations, sure. meet some cool people, learn some new things. I mean, the, one of the things I remember last year, we were sitting all hungover in the morning, having a little bonfire going, cook some breakfast, and uh, we were talking about computers, and these two cats just happened to be walking by our campsite, heard us talking, and sat down with us for like two hours, and we were reacting about all kinds of different computer stuff. So it was a lot of fun. And that was uh, kind of how we met Derek and Ben here, is that, um, you know, we were traveling around the first night and uh, happened upon them. They came down from Maine as well, and they're like, I'm like, oh, this is, a, this is an ambulance. <laughs> I mean, we're sitting inside of an ambulance right now, and we, he's like, oh, well, come here and check this out. What do, you know, what do you think about this? And uh, it's just this global mobile command center, and we've had a dozen different people come by over the past few days and tell us what they think should be done with it. And Derek and Ben are totally open to the ideas of any and everybody of like, you know, we've heard everything from, of course, we're broadcasting. This is the first time they've actually used it like this in this capacity, live in action. And, you know, I've also heard, uh, you know, being able to park somewhere kind of incognito at protests and um, offer, offer, whatever needs to happen technologically for, for some people. Oh, yeah. uh, I, I was blown away the first night I got here. Donna was like, have you seen the ambulance yet? And I was like, right. what are you talking about, ambulance? And uh, I came down here with Derek and he showed me around and like, the geek in me just had an instant work. Yeah, this, that, that, that's, that's exactly what it's been like. We're like, oh, we're just, we, we're falling in love with this place. And, and in all honesty, we're going to be truly pissed off when we have to um, leave it. You know, service hasn't been the best, but uh, it's been it's been a hell of a lot better than what I've heard in previous years. Yeah. And I, I think it's just insane because you know I, I love to broadcast. This is what I do. This is a great deal of my contribution to what me and the rest of the journalistic revolution do. So 
Um, I was like, I, I'm going to have to walk around with an empty microphone going, or someone plug me in, you know, all week because I just, I love doing it. And Well, I had thought of an idea, and I, I may still do it tomorrow, I don't know. Depends how motivated and tired I am, but uh, just throwing a big... Uh, SD card in my cell phone, going around and doing, you know, two minute interviews with random people. Kind of like what you were saying, documenting the port fast experience. Yeah. And uh, just editing it together, throwing it up on YouTube or whatever. Right. People, you know, I talk to all my friends, uh, most of them have, have no idea what port fest is, and you tell them. They right. see the pictures on Facebook, but I think it would be cool to actually see that, you know, a video, half hour, 45 minutes, whatever long, and, and they can just send, send them to YouTube and check it out. Awesome. Give them an idea. Well, hey, we're going to take another break. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. And uh, please, throw out all your stuff. We ask people to please shamelessly plug themselves all day long. So. All right. So, yeah, um, my buddies and I have a website that we occasionally contribute to. <laughs> we write. Um, it's called flightofthebastards.com. We do a awesome name, by the way. Yeah, yeah. My buddy CJ, he's a, he's a very inventive young man. <laughs> Um, we do podcasts sometimes once a week, or, you know, three times a month usually, and they're on there. Uh, there's a link to the blog. He does a lot of writing. So, yeah, that's it. Flightofthebastards.com, and you can uh, check us out on Facebook, The Bastards, and I'm on Facebook if anyone wants to chat. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for having me on. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for hanging out with us. Channel St. Peter. Guys, uh, we'll be back. We're gonna take a short little break. I'm gonna go have to, you know, De Derek J is also a guy that uh, free flows and gets into all these different little conversations. And I'm, I'm twisting his arm because we haven't had him on yet since we've had this mobile global command center. So with that being said, we're gonna take a short little break here, and then we'll have Derek on. Uh, yeah, I guess his experience. You know, we can go that way.